Let us understand how we can perform CRUD operations in MongoDB. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. We can use Insert function on top of Collection to create documents. We can use Find or Find One or many other functions to actually read the documents from the collection. We can update the documents using several functions such as update, update many, update one, find and modify, find one and update, replace, so on and so forth. When it comes to delete, we can delete documents from a collection using delete many, delete one, find one and delete, etc. So these are the different functions which we can use to perform CRUD operations against collections in MongoDB database. That being said, let us see some of the examples here. First, we'll start with insert and then we'll take it from there. Let us get into Mongo and start performing these CRUD operations from command line. Here I'm already in the Mongo and as of now we have four databases admin config local test. We can say use HR to create HR database and as part of HR database I want to create a collection by name employees. We can actually directly invoke insert function as employees does not exist it will create that employees collection and it will insert this document. So when it comes to insert, there are three variations. One is insert, second one is insert many, third one is insert one. Depending upon your requirement, you can use whatever is feasible for you. For now, we'll be using insert, which is similar to insert one, where we'll be inserting one document. So as part of the insert, we can specify the document details in curly braces, which contain the name of the attributes and its corresponding values. So we'll be having employee number, which is nothing but two, first name, which is nothing but Alexis, last name, which is nothing but Bull, company, some company LLC, and then age, 30. We just need to specify the column names and the values corresponding to it. We don't need to specify the data type of these columns. It will be inherited based upon the value we are assigning to those attributes. In this case, employee number is of type integer, age is of type integer, others such as first name, last name, and company are of type string. Now one row is inserted, you can actually review the data by saying db.employees.find. You can specify these curly braces uh, without any condition, which will fetch all the rows from the table or collection. You can see the data here. However, to beautify it, you can use a function called pretty and you should be able to see the data in a bit better readable fashion. So these are the attribute names and values which we have uh, passed as part of the insert function. However, this is system generated. Whether we specify ID or not, it will actually generate a unique ID, of type object ID, and it will add to ID. However, if you want to pass a custom value, which is unique in nature, you can do so. In this case, let's say I want to use ID itself to store the employee number. For that, I just have to say db.employees.insert. And then we have to pass a value to ID, let's say two in this case. And then we should be able to pass first name, as well as the rest of the values. Now the row is inserted. We can say db.employees find. When we don't have condition, we don't need to pass even curly braces. Whether we have empty curly braces or not, it is same. We can actually say pretty and hit enter. Now we have two documents in this collection. One have object ID generated by MongoDB internally. Second one have the object ID which we have passed. If we try to insert this same insert command once again with id2 it will fail saying that there is a key already with 2. It is very very important to understand uh, for example if you have object id generated by mongo itself and if you just run the same insert command again and again with uh, same employee number internally it will consider as a different record and it will keep on inserting the records without throwing any error. So you need to Make sure you understand this and build your applications accordingly. Now you see there are uh, several uh, employees with uh, employee number two, which is not correct functionally. And hence you need to be a bit careful while inserting the data using system generated unique ID. This is about inserting data or document into a collection. Already we have seen find, which actually fetches the data from the collection. If you want to pass a condition, we can pass condition like this. Let's say I want to get the data with ID 2. You see, we got only that one document which have ID 2. We can also filter on other fields such as first name, Alexis and hit enter. You see, we got all the records from this collection because all the records have Alexis as first name or all the documents have Alexis as first name. If you just want to get one document, irrespective of number of documents which matches your criteria, you can use find one. With find one, we don't need to specify pretty. You just have to 
remove the pretty and uh, execute this find one command or uh, function and you can see only one document written here so this is about fetching the data from the collection or fetching the documents from the collection we will actually see different variations of find and find one at a later point in time for now i just want to cover this as part of the crud operation so we have covered create and read insert for create find and find one for read now let's move on to delete as we have several duplicates let's say i want to delete uh, several of these documents and have only one for that i can say db dot employees dot delete one and let's say i want to delete those documents with employee number two even though there are several documents which match this criteria it will only delete one record and you can see the deleted count as one here if you want to get the count of the documents at any point in time you can say db dot employees which is nothing but a collection name and then count there are three documents at this time you can validate by saying db dot employees dot find dot pretty now let's say i want to delete these two also this document doesn't have employee number and hence if i say employee number two and delete it will delete those two records for that we have to say db dot employees dot delete many so that we delete all the records which match criteria and then we can pass the condition on which data needs to be deleted which is nothing but employee number two and you can see that two documents are deleted from this collection now once again we can run db dot employees find pretty and we can see that there is only one record so this is about deleting the data so we have seen create read and delete now let's focus on update let's say i want to replace this some company llc to it versity inc i can do that by saying db dot employees dot update again with respect to update there are multiple functions update update many update one etc by default update is similar to update many if you just want to ensure one document is updated based upon the criteria then we have to use update one there can be a number of rows which match the criteria or a number of documents which match the criteria however if you use update one only the first document will be updated others will not be updated in this case as we have only one record either we can use update or update one i am using update so when it comes to update first we have to pass the condition on which we want to fetch the data and then we have to invoke a certain function to perform certain kind of update so there are different types of update which we can perform uh, one is to replace the existing value for example let's say i want to change the company from some company llc to it versity inc then we have to use an operator called as set and then we can say it versity inc but before that we need to specify the query on which we have to identify the data so in this case let's say id 2 and hit enter so as part of the set we have to set the value to a given field i didn't specify the field that's why it failed so in this case i have to say company and then we have to give this company name we have to close this bracket and hit enter now the row is updated you can actually say db dot employees dot find pretty to actually see the correct data so if i want to format it properly it will look like this db dot employees dot update first we'll be having query id2 and then we will be having the set operation and as part of the set we have to specify the company name like this so i have changed value a bit here i removed the space between it and varsity just to validate that the update is working as expected so this uh, closing bracket is for this one we have to close for set once we close it for set we we have to close the circular bracket for update and hit enter you can see that there is one record matched and that one is updated or modified and we can validate by saying find here now it is it varsity inc so when it comes to update we can also upset means if there is a, a record which we are trying to insert and if there is no corresponding uh, value based upon our condition in the collection then if you want to insert then we have to use a feature called upset we just have to add additional operator called as upset after query and the set function or set operator we have to use upset and we have to set it to true or one so that if the record does not exist it will be inserted let me demonstrate here so i'm saying db employees update here we are trying to update with id3 which is not there in our collection typically when we use upset we should have the entire document not just uh, a particular field if you just have one field then the newly inserted record have only one field in that which is not correct 
probably that value as well as id apart from that it will not have anything else so let's say i want to have first name as scott and then uh, last name as tiger and then company as uh, some company llc and then age probably 35 now we have to close it for this document and then we have to close this set and then we have to say comma and then we have to say upset true and then we can close this bracket now you can see that there are no records which match this condition and as there is no matching record it have upsetted one there are no records which are modified and the id for this upsetted record is nothing but three now we can actually say db dot employees dot find and then pretty you can see the data here as part of update like this set there are other operators also like inc for increment min for min max for max etc however uh, we can only compare with a constant number so for example if i want to get minimum of this 35 and some other number i can use those operators such as min max uh, increment to increment by a value etc instead, instead of set as part of update however if i want to derive a value from the existing fields and update it is not possible using update function in uh, mongodb for example let's say we have scott in all small characters if i want to convert into uppercase and if i want to update the first name of all the data it is not possible we will not be able to achieve that uh, because as part of update statement um, we can only use certain operators such as set min max etc and we will not be able to invoke functions as part of those operators such as set min max uh, increment etc it is very very important to understand and it's a significant limitation because in traditional rdbmss if i just want to update all first names uh, using uh, uh, capitals of the existing data it is very straightforward we can just run one update statement and it will take care of it for us in mongodb if we have to take care of such kind of stuff we have to write javascript code to simplify it using queries it is not very straightforward that being said, when it comes to update, we not only have update, update many, update one, we also have something called as find and many, find one and update, replace, etc. Uh, so you can use one of these commands. You need to understand how they behave and then you have to take it further. When it comes to application development, there will be higher level APS which take care of uh, hiding the complexity of these things. So you don't need to break your head when it comes to application development. However, in the backend, if you have to understand how to perform operations, uh, sometimes you have to do that to fix uh, the bugs, etc. You need to be aware of all these uh, uh, commands or functions which can be executed in MongoDB directly. When it comes to higher level uh, applications built using uh, Node, there is a plugin called Mongoose. Whether you want to update or insert a data, you just use save. If you want to fetch the data, you have to use find. Uh, uh, so on and so forth there will be some higher level APS you have to be familiar with those APS than these lower level APS which are relevant at the database level 